Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Deal, Morse Animal Foundation Senior Scientific Communications Advisor. In honor of World Wildlife Day, I'd like to talk a little about some of the health threats facing wildlife and what we're doing to help wild animals, with a particular emphasis on emerging diseases. An emerging disease is either a new disease that we're recognizing, perhaps an old disease that is flaring up in a new geographic area, or a disease that is affecting a species it normally is not seen in. They usually come about by perhaps a transfer of animals from one region to another and they carry a disease with them. It can be a disease that hops when two populations come in contact with each other that normally don't and it goes from one to the other, and it can be a brand new disease. One would be the Tasmanian devil facial tumor. As many people know, this is devastating Tasmanian devil populations, and it's a particularly nasty tumor because it tends to affect their face and inhibits their normal behavior, such as eating. What we're doing to address the problem is really looking at the biology of the tumor itself in order to find a potential targets for treatment. Another example is what we're seeing with the saiga antelope in Mongolia. The saiga there are affected by a viral disease that probably arose from contact with um, domestic sheep herds. And it's devastating the saiga antelope population, which is quite small to begin with. Our approach with the saiga is a little different than the Tasmanian devils in that what was required to control this outbreak was really sort of boots on the ground people. People who are there to monitor the disease, identify the parameters of the disease and educate people on how the disease is spread in the hopes of containing the outbreak. A third emerging disease that we're really interested in is the chytrid fungus that's contributing to declines of our amphibian populations globally. Chytrid is a really devastating infection of the skin and we know that amphibians have a lot of their metabolic processes involve their skin. Um, their immune systems are inadequate to fight this fungus and it eventually causes them to die. With the chytrid fungus, one area that we've really focused on is how do you treat amphibians in the wild or treat their environment in order to help them survive through this fungus. And so we focused a lot on some really novel ways of treating the fungus. It's important that we address these emerging diseases because not only do they obviously affect animals directly and decrease their population, but they can certainly pose a threat to other organisms and they can pose a threat to the ecosystem as a whole. We will proudly continue to fund studies addressing emerging diseases, but we need support from people like you to make it a reality. Wild animals, just like the pets in our homes, need our help. Please consider giving a gift today.